And tonight, the issue of homelessness, front and center. Several leading candidates are talking about their plans to solve the crisis. News for Government Affairs reporter Melissa Russo following all of it for us from the newsroom. Melissa. Adam, despite huge investments, homelessness has soared under the current mayor. And today, several candidates took questions from homeless New Yorkers, frustrated about how long it takes to get out of shelter and into a real home. One problem is the housing vouchers they get from the city. They're too small, and landlords don't like them. They won't take them. They don't accept the vouchers because... Uh, they don't feel that we could pay the rent. Loretta Phelps lives with her three children in a shelter in Queens. So first, we have to increase the subsidy. It is simply too low. Giving homeless families more generous housing vouchers is one area where the Democrats running for mayor agree. Former Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia wants to put more resources in the 140 schools that have 20 percent of the city's homeless children. Practical things. Like, is there a washer and dryer that we can make available to these families? As Garcia announced her homeless plans yesterday, she introduced voters to Tracy Nuzzo, a former flight attendant who fell on hard times and chose to live on the streets rather than go to a shelter. My fear of entering the system was more powerful than my fear of being street homeless. Garcia says she'd move the homeless from the streets into newly created permanent homes with supportive services instead of building new shelters. The stays are getting 30 percent longer. One thing that I think would be extraordinarily helpful is to have specific shelters for victims of domestic violence. At one point during today's homelessness forum, Andrew Yang seemed to be unaware that the city already has special shelters for victims of domestic violence. According to Christine Quinn, who ran for mayor eight years ago and now runs homeless shelters, the candidates all have more work to do. We didn't hear enough specifics and we didn't hear a deep enough understanding, in my opinion, about what needs to be happening in shelter. Meanwhile, Andrew Yang is still in a finger pointing match with Eric Adams, trading allegations of campaign finance violations. Some of the candidates need to find something to reach for. Adams was touting his union support today during a rally at Yankee Stadium with food service workers. Scott Stringer was showcasing support from hospital laundry service workers. I always end up coming from behind. For me, it's never easy. And those workers are backing Stringer despite the fact that they have an affiliation with the Working Families Party, which bailed on Scott Stringer after a woman accused him of sexually harassing her 20 years ago. One recent poll since then suggests that, suggested that Stringer had grown his support since those allegations. But in that Manhattan Institute poll that Adam just told you about, that was not the case. Adam.